Which is Perspective is the word of the day. I, I, I hear all of you, but I'm still going to respectfully <laughs> disagree. <laughs> Okay, so After Love, episode two, Black Love season six, the sixth and final mm -hmm. season. Yeah, we're back. And we got these beautiful people back. Cause you know, you guys just seemed ripe for more conversation. Wow. Yes. Is, is that what it was? I think uh, that's what it is. Okay. So here we are, mm -hmm. you know, and we had these journeys to I do, essentially, right? The yes. quick one yeah. and the not so quick one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there ain't one way. That's there, true. there ain't. There ain't. Okay. There, there definitely isn't, ain't. Isn't one way, there Cody. isn't one way. <laughs> Part isn't two. One way. So, with that being said, why? Okay, you guys talk a little bit about, like, well, a lot about how you got back to each other, mm -hmm. but not so much. What was your thought process during that six months? Like, what? What did that mm -hmm. time? What did that time look like? For me, at first, it was like a little bit of a shell shock, mm -hmm. you know, but needed, mm -hmm. right? We, 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 we hit a ceiling again, and it was time for mm -hmm. me to actually do some, some searching within myself. She was ready, mm -hmm. you know, she knew what she wanted. I was still being a dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, Let's be clear, he moved. Yeah, he moved I, I from moved, New York. I moved out of state. So oh, you know, wow. okay. Like right away, right? Like right yes, away. Yeah. like we oh, wow. broke up in June. By mid-July, he had told me he took a job in Florida and was leaving the state. And I was devastated oh, inside. Because I was yeah. like, oh, well, then this is the end. This is it. Because I was like, yeah. we're not even going to get to run into each other right. anymore. He's yeah. going to go. He's going to start a new life. So in my mind, I was like, you really got to let it go. Yeah, but wow. peep game, though, for her. <laughs> because the day that I was scheduled to leave, she comes over. She's like, I'm going to help you pack. Wow. Uh -oh. Were you guys talking uh -oh. or was she uh -oh. out the blue? Uh -oh. I want to send you off the right way. <laughs> so you already know what's going on inside. So he, so we didn't, we were not like talking on a regular basis, but we weren't bad. Like it wasn't like a bad yeah. thing. So when he told me, I remember it was right before my birthday. I was, at, I was away. I was like working in a studio session and we spoke and I was like, you know, so how are you? This was like three weeks after we had broken up. And he's like, how are you? Good. And he's like, yeah, I took a job and I'm, I'm, I'm moving to Florida. Mm. And I just remember exactly where I was. Mm. I was like, mm. oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that's great. Did you uh, hope that she would be like, no, don't go. Right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I would no, never. No, the thing is, she's <laughs> such a good actress. I thought it was going to be like, all right, well, peace. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, but it, it, apparently it wasn't that. No, I was very, I was shocked because then it really became real. Yeah. Like, it was like, all right, we're not going to, this is not going to happen. Right naturally. Right. It's going to take some work, work. Um, mm -hmm. if it was ever going to be anything. But so, yeah, so when he was getting ready to go, I was like, all right, well, um, I'm like, well, I'd love to see you before you go. So, you know, I was like, you're packing. I could help you pack and we could grab lunch or whatever. And so I did. She did. And, and what it did for me was like, oh, wow, no, she, she really cares about me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and, and left. A, yeah, she left a, a lasting memory, oh, you cool. know, as I was I literally drove to Florida. And mm. I was just thinking about her the whole time. Mm. Wow. wow. Ding. wow. <laughs> if only it were a flight, you know, it'd be so much shorter. <laughs> Dang, oh, you got 22 oh, hours to think about me? Do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope you put this box no, in this car. Okay. Yeah. So, but it was still six months. It was still six months. So th three months of me, like, just being in Florida, figuring out, you know, my new job. And, you know, I was shooting a TV show down there. Mm -hmm. and uh, And it was just that. But I was missing her. Mm -hmm. And it was like this, this real gaping hole that I couldn't fill, mm. you know? And uh, when I realized it was her, it's when I started calling again. And mm. I called her and she had told me, she's like, listen, don't call me for no small talk. Mm. Yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't call me because you feel like, you know, you type of like check yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, that's not, you know, call me when you have something for me. Mm. And uh, mm. I tried, I called her with some small talk and she was like, hello? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure did. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, but why though? You know, because I didn't have time it. for it. I had to, I had made a decision, mm. and I knew that I had to stick to what I committed to yeah. myself. Mm. And it wasn't. I wasn't mean. 
But no. I was, de- but I was definitely like you were disciplined. Yeah, I yeah. was disciplined. I think it was yeah, your boundary. I really think it was you was setting your boundary at a very early stage yes. really by letting him know, mm. yeah, you're not gonna play with me. Yeah, I think it was really good that you set your boundaries early with him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm. To let him know, no, I'm not one of those people that you're gonna be hot and cold. Mm-hmm. No, you're gonna do this mm-hmm. or you're not. Go on your way. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and that I did the same thing with Ray when we started talking. When we first met, what? literally, oh, oh. come on. I told him, I said, if you're just trying to smash, let me know. I'm cool with that. Right. But if that's all you want, let me know. Don't be out here playing with me. Right. And he was like, no, I want a girlfriend. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want a girlfriend. In the words of Ray, why you do my voice right, like let's that? Just, let's, <laughs> that was so funny. He's like, why, why you Why is like that, that my voice? <laughs> I've never it's seen not, it. He doesn't sound like that at all. But you know how <laughs> everybody <the> has <laughs> yeah. in your brain, yeah. like your mother, everybody yeah. sounds away. That's yeah. how, for some reason, that's how he sounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's not to discourage his manly voice. Oh, no. It's just like, it's a husband loving voice. Yes. So did I, I pass the test? Absolutely. You passed the test when I said, look at him with them stupid ass sunglasses <laughs> on. You passed the test then because I know that I am a very hard, mean girl. Mm. And if you can and take up, right mm. if you can take my mean at the beginning, yeah, you already know what I'm coming mm. with. So you can't two, three months and be like, oh, you're mean. I said you had stupid ass sunglasses on. <laughs> the first day. The first day. So, yeah, but Do no. Do you wear sunglasses now? <laughs> oh, I have healed. All the time. All the time. All the time. Okay? <laughs> All the time he has on sunglasses. But yeah. no, it really was, honestly, I'm glad that Ray, he has genuinely been the same sunglass wearing motherfucker the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That don't same, switch up. Don't. He has been the same, eh, still. Mm-hmm. Even in times when I don't want him to be, eh, He's still like, yeah, and consistently, yeah, he's he's the same. But sunglasses, well, not only just right. setting a boundary and the boundary, yeah. She, you, you said this. I'm not putting nobody's Sorry, business yeah. in the street. Uh-uh. You were dating. You had started like mm-hmm. exploring, mm-hmm. and it's important to say. It's right. Don't, don't yes. offer me because I'm trying to like be authentic yes. to my new options. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. She had a whole other situation mm. yeah. that apparently had, I had to overcome because Ooh. apparently homie homie put his bid in like for real, for real. Okay. Right. Okay. He made what, his intentions known. Up, up top. Uh, that's and why you I, grew, like, I was. And, I'm at the Ritz and, and, and it's it was for years. Like it wasn't somebody new. Oh. It was somebody that I had known oh, yeah. that was yeah. already like an established. Oh, you had, you had to work against that too? Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Respect to the brother, you know? Yeah, he right, right, he, right, saw, right. he yeah. saw something good, but yeah. he lost out on hey, that man. one. Damn. Yeah, Damn. Cheers. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sorry to that man. Sorry to that Sorry man. Sorry to that man. man. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was, it was three months of me, you know, really finding myself as this person who was by himself mm-hmm. for a little bit, and mm-hmm. I needed that, you know? And I started calling again, and... Luckily, she picked up the phone, and I was mm-hmm. able to to basically say, "Hey, let's let's see each other." Mm-hmm. I think and she wanted you to call. I did, a deep but down. but I but I knew that I had to create the distance Correct. because yeah. I needed to know that when he called, he knew why he was calling, mm. and it wasn't, mm. and I knew why he was calling. It's not because I kept this. It's not because I helped him pack. Right. It's not because I left these little seeds along the way that made you think of me. It was you woke up and you made the decision that I'm going to call her because I know what I want and I know what she wants and I can give it to her. Not like a. Um, you know, like me sitting, so are you ready yet? Right. How are you feeling? What's happening? Right. And like me leaving these small impressions along the way, you either know or you or don't. Or you don't. Right. And so that's that's really why I knew I needed to take the time because I also didn't want to get my feelings up. And, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't want to have false hope to be like, well, we had such a great conversation right. yesterday, <laughs> but tomorrow he's dating somebody else, right. you know? Or so. I don't talk to you. And, and I'm, I wanted to protect that and, and respect that as well. But also, long story short, I realized that she just makes me better. Period. Mm. Period. Come on. She does. Mm. You know, I mean? in, in every in every aspect. You know, yeah. so yeah. that's just what it is. So and that's I had to what get I was going to ask because you know, what does readiness look like, right? You went off and you did the work, and and you were ready upon praying over upon dinner. command. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> upon yes, <laughs> traveling together. What does what? readiness look like? Because we hear men talking about, I'm not ready yet. I got to do mm. this. I got to mm-hmm. do that. And I'm sure everybody's like, you know, check boxes are different. Yeah. Yeah. But what does that look like for you to know that I'm ready to commit for life? I, I, I think it's it's not only uh, a physical thing, but it's like you have to be mentally there. And then uh, we're big on energy. Like mm-hmm. our first date, we knew like it, this was it. 
Mm. Like there was no denying the it, what we felt, mm. our conversation, what we talked about. Like it was n no denying that. So like immediately I knew this was going to be my person. Mm. Ups or downs, whatever it was. Even again, the first time we our date, she told me I had brain cancer back in 2013, but I'm good. All right, cool. This is still gonna be my person. Literally, we we, we liked the same music. We laughed at the same jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she she says that the day after we met, she cut off everybody she was talking I blocked to. Blocked everybody. The it, whole what she called it the other day. The meals, uh, the meals, the meals on wheels. Meals on wheels. There was yes. no more meals on the wheels. Yeah, no, that, yeah. The meals on wheels was done. And he had to be a very reliable person for me to block my meals on wheels. Mm. So I knew I knew he was my person because. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, Ray, honestly, another big thing, I knew Ray was my person because we, I've never dated anybody young, and he's mm -hmm. seven years younger than me. Mm -hmm. So for him to come Shout in... Shout out to the cougars of the world. <laughs> Cougar cougars. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to the mature men of the world. <laughs> yeah, that part. As well. Okay. When he came in at 27, mm -hmm. when we initially met, and put an impression on me that no older guy had ever right. given me, I was like, oh, okay. And then, mm -hmm. deep in diving deeper into him, finding out he had been raised in the church his whole life. My mother was a pastor, my father's a deacon. And so, you know, it all kind of threaded together for us. I'm glad that it did, honestly, because three brain surgeries later, I wouldn't be here mm. without God, of course, but without, yeah, you know that. I love you. I love you a lot. Yeah. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> Can we drink? Oh, it's, it's, getting, it's, getting too, yes. it's getting too emotional. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay, you didn't get an exempt. I mean, uh -oh. you. That's right. Yeah, You're next. Uh, You're coming down your street. We talked about me in the episode and like, what about me? But like, how do you know that you can commit? Wait, I didn't get examples. They were talking to him. No, he started it. <laughs> he says she makes me better. Right. He did the three months, you know, three months of, of transition and three months of, oh my God, I need to be with this woman. So what about you? What's the question? <laughs> what does, what you say what does readiness look like for you? I mean, I, I know your personality, but I still think you should articulate it. You know our person. So what does that no, mean? No, see, he tried to get me yeah, to answer uh -huh, every question. Uh -huh. <laughs> to be very clear, right? Obviously, Please. I had to edit, you know, work with our editor on these episodes. And I'm very cognizant of the fact that, like, I do all the talking. Because <laughs> this is what he does. Right. <laughs> he will literally ask me a question back, yeah. or he'll just be like, you got it. <laughs> I mean, you do have it sometimes. You do have it. You do have it. <laughs> don't, exactly. Don't, don't do the man thing. You're very good at what you do. Yeah. You're very good at this. Mm -hmm. very I, good. I'm only here because you mandated me to be here. <laughs> <laughs> And because you like them. I'm here to get fired. I'm only here to get fired, Thomas. I like them very I'm much. I'm glad you but, said but that. But as on we've camera, talked actually. about here, the it's idea so of like I'm a very direct person is like, no, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you telling me that I had to be here. <laughs> Facts. Like, fact. even if I were here, yes, I'd be over here. there. Yep. Okay. Out so, what does readiness oh. look like for you? How do you Still know? Still go back to it. Yeah. Like, I how did you know? Yeah. No, for real though, it's it is important yeah. to know because you you did share that you were in a relationship right. It ended. Obviously, that wasn't the person. Right. So, mm -hmm. how did you know that you were ready to get back? Oh, hit, hoodie uh -oh, went up. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. He said, See, "Dark thug Tom, mode." We gonna hit the thug <laughs> mode right Tom, now. Tommy is a now filmmaker. Now he got dared to answer for him. Come on, give him some. You know what I'm saying? He is used to telling stories in a different way. Jared. Okay. Okay, fine. What's the question, now? The, the question, question is, is, how did you know, after you had just gotten out of a relationship and you met Cody, how did you know, like, you were like, I'm ready to be serious with someone again? You were 29. Mm. Oh, wow. Like, how did you know you were like, all right, I'm like, I'm actually ready to be in a relationship and then with her? Like, yeah. Mm. I think it's actually pretty easy where sometimes it's, it's clear that you know what you don't want and somebody's not that. And because of that, it can offer clarity when you realize that there's somebody in front of you that yeah. is so incredible. And for me, I knew there was no better. Yeah, there man, was, there was no- You said that oh, line, better. man, ooh. Tears, I'm ooh. talking about all types of tears. Mm. Yeah, he said, oh. ain't no getting better than this. Mm. There, yeah. there was no better. And and I realized that. And so it's the, the I don't know, discipline or understanding mm -hmm. or mm. luck or whatever it is. Com it's a combination all of all. It's a combination where it's like, there was no doing better. Right. Mm. At all. Mm. You a 10 girl. For, now, for, for, for a guy <laughs> who does it, it's not 10. a 
a, a colorful, thoughtful, yeah. like, to give you... That is pretty strong. I mean, yeah. Yeah. okay, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, let's. I let's, will accept it. Yeah. Yes, to my guy, Tommy. That was no, beautiful. No, that was beautiful. So to the best. To the best. Yeah. So glad you shared that, because now I'm going to pivot just a little, just a tad. <laughs> Get away from me, please do. <laughs> For two reasons. Number one, I feel like something came up after we had our last conversation, uh -oh. and I want to tie that into um, the fact that this episode was about like getting to I do right. Um, and the conversation comes up a lot around like premarital pre counseling and all that. A, did any of you do that? Yes, yes, we did. Okay. When did it start? Uh, two months before we got married. How long did y'all know each well, other no. at that point? Did y'all get married a year and a half after you met? No. Six a year after you well, met. Well, we were engaged six months after we met, then married. A year and a half yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So About okay. two years. Okay. Two years after we met, we got married. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you started premarital counseling literally right before you got married. Right yeah. before we got married. Yeah. And what made you start? Because we both knew. Yeah. Um, we both knew. So Ray and I both, like I said, have been in church our whole lives. Mm -hmm. um, and we both had talked about going to counseling, you know what I'm saying, when we had gotten engaged. Mm -hmm. um, and we both knew when we got engaged, our pastor was like, all right, y'all going to counseling. And it really was us going and our pastor telling us, y'all need to go because if you don't root yourself in God, this is just not going to work. And that's really how we started. Yeah. yeah. But I was also going to personal counseling because... I lost my mom in 2012, and after not dealing with grief for years, not dealing with her loss for years, I told Ray, I started feeling what I was feeling of not dealing with grief was spilling over into our relationship. Yeah. So I said to him, hey, I'm going to go to counseling because I'm fucked up, yeah. and I don't want my situation to mess us up. Yeah. So I started to go to therapy on my own, and then that's when we started going to marriage counseling, and I believe in counseling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I, I actually what? have a master's uh, from Winthrop University in counseling. Um, so that. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but I just don't do that. It doesn't work on me. Didn't mean to say it. I was like, wait, he throws it out very casually. I mean, that's not casual. That's great. Listen, I actually have a master's. I have a master's in counseling. He's out. So I say that to say I wasn't opposed to the thought of therapy in our community. Males, yes. we don't want nothing to do with it. Right. So mm -hmm. I was I was open to it. I had been to therapy myself, um, so I, I knew that it could only help. Okay. Like if if you if you think about a relationship, like we do all the stuff we do to make sure that this is good. So why not do stuff right. while we're in it right. to to maintain that? Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You don't you're not gonna buy a BMW and not get it to get an oil change. I always use this analogy. Yeah, but for... we got Teslas, so we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna come you back. You know what? That would explain a lot. Um, that would explain a lot. I'm about to make this That's analogy. How can we not maintain? This, Jared's like, so wait, you just don't plug it in and it works? Yeah. Oh, you gotta do stuff? The this thing I learned about Tommy. Tom. Let me go back to the pen section. The way. I always Let me go back to the poor folks by section. The way. Tommy is going to Tommy. I was, so I always use this analogy because I always feel like, you know, people often wait. If you think about your car, right? Like, people wait. To get, you don't wait to get the car fixed once you run it into the ground. Yeah. Right. You get your brakes checked, you get your oil, your engine. Yep. You, right. When that light comes on, you take it into don't. the shop. A lot of people don't. Metaphorically lot, and I, otherwise. I do, and I do believe that to be yeah. true. And I feel like maintenance is better than repair. Exactly. And, I, and I feel like that's mm. what therapy does. Yeah. And like yeah. for us, we, even before we had a wedding date, we had just been engaged, I think, for about a year. When I was like, we really need to go to therapy. Right. Okay. That really was the need... beginning. That was the, mm -hmm. th that was mm -hmm. so we had we got engaged in 2017. By 2018, we had started therapy together. Mm -hmm. I had already been doing therapy individually, but mm -hmm. together we had started to, through te through 2018, and we literally did that all through 2020. And then when wow. I got pregnant again in 2021, we started again. Mm -hmm. And we I just knew that it was like, all right, like our life is about to shift, we're about to have another baby. We need to be yeah. on the same page right. as we are going into this new Truth. phase of our lives because things are going to change. Right. We are changed, we're different people. And I just, I truly believe in having somebody um, to mediate yeah. and to mm -hmm. have a neutral position yeah. because sometimes your emotions can get the best of you yes, and it's hard to listen and it's hard to be heard sometimes right. when your emotions get there. So having someone mm. help you process certain things. Because I find that even though as much as well as we understand each other, pretty much, very well, 
we can't really hide because we know each other so well. Right. <laughs> but there are things that we're, we've been able to unlock right. in a safe space with therapy about each other. That's mm. like, oh, that explains this. Yeah. And yeah. That, so it kind of helps not to take things personally sometimes because right. just on. like understanding your person better. Come on. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that that's really important throughout life and throughout marriages right. and relationships in general. Like if you're with someone, whether you decide to actually get married or not, if you make a commitment to each other to be together, if you have children, yeah. co-parenting therapy right. is important, you know? Um, yeah. I think it's really, really important. And I'm glad that we've done it. I'm glad that we do it. Um, it's oh, been yeah. very, very helpful. Right. And it's helpful in the good times and the bad times. Come on. Yeah. You know what I'm Come saying? On. Like things could be great. Yep. You know, and it's not just about when things are wrong. I'm yeah. in therapy you know every, I, mean? I go to therapy every week. Yes. Personal therapy every week. Yes. And I'm in it and I believe in it because I know how life lifes yes. all, the time. all the time. And life be life and mm -hmm. real yes. aggressively. <laughs> so, yeah, you need things to fall back on. And also, as you were saying, I found my therapists and therapists with an S are like my emotional translators. Mm. Mm. That's what they are for me. When I don't know, when I have feelings and I'm like, this is what I feel, tell me why. And they're yeah. like, all right, yeah. this is why. And I found that to be very helpful to me because I feel like I'm losing my mind sometimes. Mm -hmm. But when I tell my therapist, this is what I feel, they're like, Roz, that's your anxiety. Mm -hmm. You're okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it helps because yeah. yeah, life is gonna life, like I said, and you need somebody there to tell you, no, you're not crazy. Mm -hmm, you're just mm -hmm. experiencing natural emotions because of what you're going through. Right. Especially in our community. Come on, yes. you know what I mean? Like Especially we, in our community. We're dealing with things, you know, whether we feel them or not, we we, we feel them. We yeah. Because even if we yeah. don't feel them personally, Absolutely. when we see them on TV, we feel them because Correct. those are yeah. still yeah. our we people. Discuss them or not, right? Because right. we're just right. like, yeah. okay, yeah. that happened. Yes. And we yeah. have to plow Suppress. through. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to bring something up because, you know, we are, this is this black love space and, and my hope is to help folks, right? And so I'm going to bring up a, a naive point for me. Oh, boy. I am not trying to throw you under the bus, but I am trying Sounds to have a conversation. Like <laughs> so when Anytime we... Anytime the conversation starts with a disclaimer. It has a whole disclaimer. Yeah. 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 But no, no, I'm, I, mean, I, I am definitely going to mention you, but so here's... Yes. Gonna mention so we, we oh, met and got engaged in six months. Mm. Yeah. And after we got engaged, I think, he came to me, he came to me about premarital counseling. Mm. Okay. And I was like, this is great, right? Because we're still getting to know each other in a sense. Right. Like there's certain things where I'm like, oh, okay, he believes in therapy. Hey, we gonna do that. <laughs> we did not go to premarital counseling, but that, but that at the time was like, oh, we've just been so busy. Right. Um, but fast forward to like we've done couples counseling mm -hmm. infrequently, but he's opposed to. I'm looking at Jared because he's opposed to personal counseling. Mm. Is that accurate? Not quite. Okay, not interested in. What's your point? My point is. <laughs> my Are you point is. On? My, <laughs> my point is. With this? I was yeah. under the impression, based on that early him coming to me about premarital mm -hmm. counseling, right. I was like, ah, therapy's on the table yeah, for this yeah. guy. <laughs> so fast forward right. to many years later when he's like not interested in in personal therapy, mm -hmm. I'm like. Wait, no, no. Okay. Therapy's what's up. Yeah, I have like, a question. So we got, we need both. I need okay. both of you. Ross I keep looking at you. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Okay. So Ross has a follow up. Yeah. Is opposed the word to use for no. counseling? No, no, cer certainly not. Okay, so why don't you go? <laughs> when when <laughs> when, like, when, when, well, me, when Jared <laughs> explicitly said that he did you say needed to? What why don't y'all okay. go? Should. Why don't okay. y'all go? Should. Should, I sit, should I sit over there? He said should go. That's Getting nervous. nervous. I have. Right. I, I think I have an answer for why Jared doesn't go, but well, I, Jared can answer for himself. Yeah. Right. Tommy sounds like he's giving us some good stuff right yeah. now. <laughs> does it? Yeah. Tommy, like, say, say, does save it us both. Does it help or hurt if I go like this? Yeah. Get off me, lady. <laughs> <laughs> lady? <laughs> lady. She became lady Get quick. Lady. <laughs> so... I think that therapy is a, a wonderful thing and can be a wonderful thing depending on the person or the couple, but I don't think it's something that is a blanket, this works for everybody or for every yeah. situation. It's not a universal It's not, treatment. And, and I don't think help. that it's... Don't help. No, no, but I, but I think what's problematic where I think therapy should be considered mm -hmm. and you should think about it, you, you consider it, maybe it works, maybe it's not the right thing, but the idea that everybody should do therapy sure. or that saying that is the same way that all kids should learn the same way. And so I think it's the wrong approach. Mm -hmm. And so I think that there's a lot more nuance that needs to go into it. Yeah. And, and so for some people, it is a great thing. But if like, if you have, if you have an iron deficiency and I don't, 
that doesn't mean that I need to take an iron supplement. And so, but to even use your analogy about all kids should learn the same, it's not necessarily that all kids need to learn; it's mm. who's teaching them. Mm. Correct. And so, and so and, like, and there are, but there are ways. So right. therapy is a way to solve things, mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily the best. A way to uncover not the potentially, way. but it's not Explore. the only way. And see, that's the thing: it's like there was this idea before. It's like, oh, all kids have to learn this way, and everything else right. is wrong. Mm -hmm. which is a bunch of BS. Right. And so I think we've gotten to a place where we've overcorrected with therapy, where it's therapy, 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 yeah. because there's been this stigma associated with therapy for so long. I think and so I think that there's so much start. more nuance to it. I, I agree in part. I agree in part. I, I, I think you're, you're, you're right that it's not a one size fits all, but mm -hmm. Melanie was about to get to, to how I really feel about this, <laughs> which, which, is, which is, I think that everyone should go to therapy, but you need to find the right therapist. Right. You, know? you need to find the time. You mm -hmm. need to prioritize it. It needs to be the priority for you Pro to be yeah. able to do it. Yeah. Like you to have to be ready to the do it. The time and the mind yes. space. Yes. And also you have to be in the space to be receptive of therapy. There like, it is. Yeah. and the fact and that, that everybody you are, is. Right, and I can exactly. tell that you're not. And the thing about it is that's okay mm -hmm. because I used to be the same way. I used to be not receptive of therapy until I figured out therapy is not to solve my problems. Mm. It's to help me deal with how I need my problems. Like therapy doesn't solve me dealing with brain cancer. Help, therapy helps me deal with brain cancer. To think when my anxiety starts to spaz up, knowing I've gone to therapy, Rosalyn, you can talk yourself right. down through this, you're fine. And also not, it doesn't solve your grief. Correct, right? it like, does that's not. That's something that I relate to, you know, my father passed and so it, therapy is a way to explore and, and discuss. And to and, face it. Yeah, right, to, mm. to, to face things, right? And so anyway, my, my point though is that it must be when a person is ready. Yes. And I only brought it up, or I brought it up for two reasons. A, premarital counseling, right? We're talking about falling in love, we're talking about saying I do, we're talking about the value in, in making your relationship as strong as possible, as early as possible. Um, but then also because Jared had made the comment previously about not going yet. Mm -hmm. So that's why I brought, yes. and, and because I was a little uh, scarred, but it's not your fault. Scar it's not, it is not his fault. I made an assumption mm. about that moment in 2014 or whatever it mm. was that like years later I was like, oh, mm. A does not equal mm. to whatever. The Which is didn't. one of the most dangerous things in sure. marriages. Yes. In relationships. Assumptions yeah. and expectations. Yeah. Uh, Uncommunicated uh, un 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 expectations. Man, listen, yeah. brother. That's, yeah. that's therapy talking, by the way. That, that is 100% yes, therapy <laughs> talking. Therapy. And it is And it again, is it is, like I said, therapy outside of brain cancer, outside of grief dealing with my mom, just life in general. Mm, life, child. It helps you deal with life because mm -hmm. we don't have kids yet. Do you guys, you have kids. Yeah. You two yeah. kids. Exactly, yeah. you guys have kids. Therapy helps you deal with your children because kids, I don't have kids, but I know they're crazy. But wait, let me back up. Hold on, hold on. Wait, it's quick, it's quick, it's quick. Let me back up. It doesn't quick, simply help you deal with your children, right? It helps you deal with your parents. It helps you deal right. with your background. It helps Correct. you deal with your trauma your so that you go into parents. your, your parenting. You don't do the same mistakes. Yes. Yes. With, with more clarity. Yes. Perspective yes. is the word of the day. I, know. I, I hear all of you, but I'm still going to respectfully disagree in that, here's the thing, people have their own ways of doing things. Yes. Yes. And, and here's the thing is like, I've also interviewed along with Cody 250 people, 250 <laughs> couples. 250 couples. <laughs> and so, I've also, along with Cody, interviewed 250 couples. And so there are so many things that I've gotten or taken yes. away from or conversations that I've had. And you so got an honorary it's, therapy session. It's, it's, but the thing is, like, I, 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 I strongly disagree with the idea that everybody thinks that it has to be this thing. Yeah. And so the same way yeah. where it's, whether it's marriage or parenting or any of it, and so I understand the marriage for some people, but I fundamentally disagree that it's got to be this thing for, for everybody. Let Understood. me say this so I can That's absolutely. Fair. That is fair. And I agree with you in that sense because it's the same way that I feel about my oncologist and he tries to give me a blanket cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. No, treat me as the 39-year-old black woman that I am, not the 46, 65-year-old white man that has, it's, we're not the same. Mm -hmm. but, the, but be clear that the goal is healing. Correct, the, and there are different ways is. of going that, about it. So, that that is, is, no and so it's, it's not that I'm not doing the work. Right. It's not that I'm not figuring so, out my path for the work. It doesn't need to be the same as your path. Right, and I understand. And so my question is, even if you don't do the path that I do, 
Are you doing some sort of therapy? Are you talking about what you mm. feel? Me are you metaphorical? Right? Metaphorical. Not therapy, but a therapy. Right. Are you doing some form of therapy? Not saying you got to go sit on a couch and right. talk to Jared hypothetically for three hours about, oh, this is what I feel. That's no. But well, maybe are that's what it is, though. Maybe, 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 it's, maybe it's weird maybe driving so. a drink. And maybe it's that's my point. Yes. Yes. And so it's so like, there are ways of doing, doing it. Are, are you having these conversations outside of this table? My guy, my guy, group chat is my therapy. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, men, like, are are like but, just being together and sharing that like that's therapy for us. That's y'all's you know therapy, saying? but at the same time, you have to always get an outside person looking mm -hmm. in because you're always not going to see exactly what you're doing. You have to get somebody from the outside saying, "Hey, um, yeah, no, that ain't right." Because mm -hmm. we always do things that we feel like are right mm -hmm. in our minds, yeah. but when we do it to someone else, you're like. That don't make sense. You be like, yeah, that really don't make sense. And you. also, you can rationalize it when you know the person, because you might sit with Jared and be like, yeah, you know, Melanie is a hothead. So right. I understand right. why you got to <laughs> retreat. Now I see why exactly. No, no, no. The therapist don't know I'm a hothead yet. <laughs> Let's keep it clear. I, I just think it, it just goes back to understanding what you're solving for. Yeah. It's like as long as you understand what you're solving for, there are usually lots of ways to get to that point. Ah, but sometimes you, you don't, don't understand. You don't know what you're solving for. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I did that say this. That was love. That was but love. But I will say this to, to bring it back is that I think the goal when you are in a relationship, when you are in a marriage is I am willing to do whatever is necessary to mm. explore whatever is available to try to make this work. If that is the objective, and I think that that's what's important, is that it's like, all right, I might not want to do this, mm -hmm. I might not know how to do this, but if my goal and my partner's goal is to make sure that we make it, mm -hmm. I got to be willing to be open to do things that I might not necessarily want right. to do or have done or are familiar with or are comfortable with, because I'm going to try to exhaust every I option that to make yes. it work. Okay. And I think that that's what's important to know. Okay, and that's it. Okay, okay. Well, last thing. The last thing, the reason why I'm big on counseling is I also feel like in a marriage there's one whole, but there's two halves to that whole. You have to have both halves together mm. to have a whole. Yes. I can't be raggedy and you're together and we're Ooh. talking about where to No, that's not going right. to work. Mm. So let's both individually yes. do the work so together I agree. we're better for each other. I agree. That's why I go to individual counseling. You're only being better for you so you can be better for her and Ooh. for them babies. Literally, that's it. All right, we'll send us some recommendations. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Play, we'll listen, so, we'll be to you before this thing's over. So that said, y'all, we got to wrap it up. Yes. Oh, okay, man. this has it's been... Too good. But this is like, okay, you know, it's the sixth and final season, so I'm in my feelings, but like, mm. this is what I love so much, is the conversation that happens after the show. Like, Tommy and I, when we first created Black Love, we used to share the episodes, like, with our homies at the house before, yeah. like, before... Did we even have own we license? We did it. We did it episode at our apartment, mm. episode one before there was an But it was multiple, we wow. did that we did. a few wow. times, wow. and the wow. conversation wow. after is like, like- Nobody had notes on the yeah. actual episode. They just yeah. talked they about just their emotions, talked about, talked about their relationships, wow. talked about all of it. And so oh, wow. that's what I love, that's what I'll miss, but we're gonna, we're finding ways to do that, yeah. Yeah. okay? So I appreciate you guys so much, not just for sharing your vulnerability, your stories in Black Love, but for coming here. Today, thank, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, right. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think you're going to say a little better. Yeah. For creating Being a, vessels. a vessel, yeah. for filling a void of representation, mm. for sharing stories, for allowing people to have on camera therapy sessions. Mm. Mm. Come on, sister. Yeah. Oh, wait, so this counts? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It counts. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. It's a perfect right, right. to that. Right, right. All right, that's after love, y'all. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>